So what is a vertical asymptote? We kind of look at this question all the time and we want to kind of remember vertical asymptotes. And a lot of times, you know, I've heard, oh, asymptotes, they never touch, they never cross, da 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 well, I want to get through the description in a little bit more detail than just, you know, oh, they don't cross, they approach, never touch, blah, 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 blah. So let's say we have an asymptote. Okay, we're going to represent the asymptote as um, this little dotted line. And we're going to say this asymptote, you know, if you have a number, it's 5, 6. We're going to say this asymptote is at x equals 6. All right? So the value of our asymptote, we're actually going to say is um, and with x equals 6. Now, or actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this, yeah, we don't, why did I say x equals 6? x equals a. All right, so we're going to say as x equals a. We don't know what this number is. I'm not going to, don't estimate 7, 7.5, 8. Don't estimate. Let's just pretend we have a line, right? So you have dots. We don't know where that line is, but I'm going to say let's say it's a, all right? So I just kind of give you guys that so you can understand. So anyways, let's say we have a graph, and let's say my graph is going to do something funny, and it's going to go up, all right? So as my x values, right, here's all your x values, so as my x values, as they approach a, so as x approaches a, if, remember here's my function, we're dealing with the function, so f of x and x. So as x, as x approaches your a, if f of x approaches infinity or f of x approaches negative infinity, we have an asymptote. So you can see as this as x keeps on getting closer and closer to a, you can see the graph go up, and what it does is it goes towards infinity, right? Where this would be negative infinity, this is negative infinity, and that's to the right, it keeps on going positive infinity. And then let's say the graph keeps on going, so let's say it's actually a little graph that's going to look like this, or x can approach a from the other direction. So let's say my x values are out here, and as I keep on going, as my x values keep on getting closer and closer to a, they don't ever cross a, do they? The x values, as they keep on getting closer to a, now start to turn, and they approach negative infinity. So whenever you have the x values of a function, as they seem to kind of constrict or get closer and closer to your asymptotes, rather than actually crossing your asymptotes, if they start to either both go up to infinity, both go down to negative infinity, or you know one goes up to infinity, one goes to negative infinity, what we have is what we call an asymptote. And what it is is, it is a, it's a line that your function is going to keep on approaching, 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 but is not ever going, um, well, it depends on things, but it is not ever going to uh, need or touch. And we can look at that, we'll look at some examples um, to go through that, because there is sometimes horizontal, sometimes asymptotes, we will actually cross them, and we'll look into a function like that. Um, but what it happens is the definition of an asymptote is as our x values of our function approach an asymptote, they're going to either um, head up to infinity or down to negative infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, oh crap, that's a vertical asymptote. That is a vertical asymptote. Hope you enjoyed.